Billionaire Elon Musk's Boring Company is looking to dig a tunnel under Tesla Giga Factory, Texas, in Austin. Auto tech website Electric recently reported that the Boring Company has been in discussions with the state and municipal governments for several projects since moving to Texas, but they have not moved forward with any of them until now. The company has applied with the city of Austin to build a tunnel on the Tesla Giga Factory, Texas property for the project Colorado River Connector Tunnel. While it has led to various speculations, one person back home seems to have the answer to quench all curiosity. The Batcave refers to superhero Batman's secret headquarter under this manor. It has been depicted that Batman builds high-tech gadgets in this space. Keeping these theories aside, Tesla is yet to reveal what it plans to do with the tunnels. Welcome back to Tech Trends for All. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated when we release new videos. Without further delay, let's dive in. While Elon Musk is publicly making a big deal about moving to Texas, his company is wrangling with local authorities in the state over a host of seemingly mundane permitting issues. This comes even though officials including Governor Greg Abbott gave him a big welcome. Woo-hoo! A Bastrop development official emailed County Judge Paul Pape, the presiding officer of the county government, after boring closed on the property. Elon Musk is now a Bastrop County property owner. Project Submarine has landed. Since Boring bought land last May to create a research and development center in Bastrop, Texas, a rural area outside Austin, the company has put workers up on mobile homes at the site without authorized sewage facilities, failed to get air and stormwater permits, and built a driveway without first getting official approval. The Boring Company sure sounds sexy. It's founded and funded by Elon Musk, the guy who makes electric cars, Tesla, and sends rockets into space, SpaceX. It has come up with a new Albi unproven concept for dismantling traffic. It wants to build underground creations that you, mere human, can ride at speeds up to, to 150 miles per hour without ever encountering a speck of traffic. But before it sinks its machines into the ground and tunnels to victory, the boring company has to do something truly monumental get past local government. On Monday evening, Boring Company Operations Chief Jen Balajadia stood before the City Council of Lutt County's Culver City and spent 45 minutes explaining why Musk wants and deserves the right to dig a tunnel under their homes. The sometimes chippy meeting was packed with members of the public and highlighted both the exciting and not quite consistent elements of the transportation company's plans. Balajadia said the Boring Company is done with its tech development phase and is ready to carve out a proof-of-process tunnel that would run 6.5 miles between the city of Los Angeles and Culver City, its neighbor to the west. Part of the goal here is to test the company's ability to build across jurisdictions and handle all the hurdles that entails. She said the company has already asked LA for an excavation permit and is working with Caltrans, the state transportation agency, to secure the right-of-way beneath public roads. But the local leadership isn't entirely convinced. Musk came up with the Boring Company in late 2016 while stuck in lay traffic. He could destroy the scourge of congestion, he figured, by building layers upon layers of underground tunnels, each just wide enough for a personal car or a multi-passenger pod. Those vehicles would ride on electric skates that would zoom everyone along at triple-digit speeds. And, he insisted, he could do it far more cheaply and at least four times faster than typical tunneling tech, a claim he hasn't proven and which tunneling engineers doubt. Longer tunnels between cities, Musk added, could contain the Hyperloop, his idea for a levitating train that works in a near vacuum tube. By early last year, Musk had purchased a used tunnel boring machine and began building a test trench under SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, in Lutt County. By August, the boring company had secured the city of Hawthorne's permission to build a two-mile test tunnel beneath the city streets. Now, it plans to bid for a Chicago project to build high-speed rail between downtown and O'Hare International Airport and says it's in talks to construct a hyperloop between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland, which will eventually stretch to New York. This latest interaction with local government comes a month after Musk faced intense Twitter backlash for his comments about the unpleasantries of riding public transit and the Culver City presentation seemed pitched to ameliorate potential concerns. Balajadia focused on the loop the small pods meant to transport multiple passengers, rather than the individual Teslas highlighted in the Boring Company's first promotional video. The Boring Company system would complement the Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transportation Authority's expanding public transportation network 
and that it would not ask for any taxpayer funding. The cost of a ride in a boring company pod would be comparable, if not lower, than than any existing public transportation. And Lay Metro bus ride cost $1.75. The five city council members met the presentation with mixed reactions. Megan Sollywells said she was worried the private transportation company would compete with public transit systems, which are charged with providing equitable transportation options for entire city. I don't really trust a private company to watch out for equity because I haven't seen it happen, she said. It looks super sexy and super easy, but it's half-baked from a public perspective. Others like the idea of bringing some musk magic to the city, home to 40,000 residents and famous for its movie and television studios. I think there's still so much to vet out and so much technology that's going to move forward, but we're a very forward-thinking city, said Mayor Jeffrey Cooper. I think it would be foolhardy of us to just say no. He said he hoped the company would bring a more solid proposal before the city council in the future. Balajadia also revealed a few more new details about the boring company's hard-to-nail-down technical plans. Though the tunnel system will have many entrances and exits, any given pod will take all its riders to a single destination, rather than pausing at each stop, like a subway. In a document it submitted to the Culver City Council, the boring company writes, the electric skates are faster than conventional subway cars and are autonomous vehicles. Most importantly, Loop is an express public transit system. Therefore, unlike trains, the skate's average speed is very close to its maximum speed. Tunneling experts have been extremely skeptical about the boring company's plans. They point out that the actual digging is the least of a tunneling firm's problems. It has to construct supports behind it as it goes, haul soil to the surface, and monitor for construction damage and keep track of where delicate utility lines are buried. The Boring Company says it is investigating using soil to build bricks to support the tunnel walls instead of bringing it to the surface and dumping it elsewhere. And then there's the really time-intensive stuff, permitting, filing reports, and hiring contractors, and all those city council meetings. That's work for places like Culver City, too. This project would require significant staff investment, noting the city would likely have to hire consultants to guide it through the process. This would be, for us, a rather monumental effort. Elon Musk wants to build a tunnel to cut down on traffic in Los Angeles, and it looks like he's serious about making it happen. Musk said on Twitter that he is making progress with his plan to dig a tunnel under Los Angeles. He said digging will start in Crenshaw, California, at Interstate 105, just five minutes from Los Angeles International Airport. Musk has been a proponent of more car tunnels for a few years now. He brought up the topic in March 2015, when he said tunnels were a far better way to reduce traffic than flying cars. That's all I have for you guys for today. If you liked watching this video, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so that you may be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.